Hello everybody. Today we are going to learn about the types of chemical reactions. This lesson is from uh, NCRT, 10th standard, chapter 1, chemical reactions and equations. What are chemical reactions? Chemical reactions are processes in which new substances with different properties are formed. In a chemical reaction, reactants combine together to form new substances with entirely different properties to that of reactants. The new substances form that all of products. Which are the different types of chemical reactions? The first one is combination reaction. As the name indicates, combination reaction is a reaction in which two or more elements or compounds combine together to form a single product. In a combination reaction, two or more elements or compounds combine together to form a single product. See, many examples are given here. See the first one, magnesium combines with oxygen to form magnesium oxide. Two elements which are magnesium and oxygen combine together to form a single product, magnesium oxide. Similarly, hydrogen combines with oxygen to form water which is a product. So, hydrogen and oxygen are the two elements combined together to form a single product which is water. Then carbon combines with oxygen to form carbon dioxide. Two elements, carbon and oxygen, combined together to form a molecule of carbon dioxide which is a single product here. Similarly, hydrogen combines with chlorine to form hydrogen chloride. Hydrogen combines with chlorine, two reactions are here. It combines to, to form hydrogen chloride gas. This reaction is very useful in the industry for the preparation of hydrochloric acid. This hydrogen chloride gas which is dissolved in water, it forms hydrochloric acid. Then, next, sodium combines with chlorine to form sodium chloride. Sodium is the one element, chlorine molecule combines to form a single product that is sodium chloride. So, what are combination reactions? Combination reactions are reactions in which Two or more elements or compounds combine together to form a single product. Similarly, calcium oxide combines with water to form calcium hydroxide. Calcium oxide is quicklime. Quicklime combines together to form, combines with water to form calcium hydroxide which is slaked lime. This is very useful in the case of, or this is the reaction which is taking place in whitewashing. What do you mean by wash washing? It is the coating on the cement walls. You will get a shiny white colored surface. How is it formed? The, the compound what we are buying for wash washing is calcium oxide. If we are, we are dissolving it in water, when we are adding water to it, it forms calcium hydroxide which is white in color. The white powder. Again when we are adding water to this calcium hydroxide, forms a white liquid which we apply on our voice. And after two or three days, it combines with the carbon dioxide present layer to form calcium carbonate. This is a calcium. This calcium hydroxide combines with the carbon dioxide present in the atmosphere to form calcium carbonate which is seen as the white deposit on the walls. Or this calcium carbonate gives the white surface. So this is calcium oxide, the quick line. It's very important in the industry for the preparation of cement as well as for the manufacture of glass. So this is called combination reaction. Next is decomposition reaction. Decompose means a D. Decomposition reaction means a single reactant decomposes to form more than one product. Decomposition reactions are three types. Thermal decomposition reaction, electrolytic decomposition reaction, photolytic decomposition reaction. Third is one, thermal decomposition reaction. Thermal means related to heat of a single reactant decomposes into more than one product in the presence of heat. For example, first one, calcium carbonate decomposes to form calcium oxide plus carbon dioxide. Means when you are heating calcium carbonate, it splits up into calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. Next, potassium chloride, KCLO3, potassium chloride decomposes on heating, 
decomposition of potassium chloride and oxygen. Potassium chloride decomposes to form potassium chloride and oxygen. So a single reactant, in both the cases, a single reactant decomposes to form more than one product. See the third one given here is ferrous sulfate. Ferrous sulfate decomposes to form ferric oxide plus sulfur dioxide plus sulfur trioxide. Ferrous sulfate which is green in color. The ferrous sulfate what we get in the lab is hydrated ferrous sulfate. Means hydrated means it contains some water crystallization molecules. It is green in color. When you heat in this ferrous sulfate, first it gets converted to unhydrous ferrous sulfate. Unhydrous means it does not contain water molecule. Then again on heating, it splits up into ferric oxide plus sulfur dioxide plus sulfur trioxide. So ferrous sulfate, what, the, what we see in laboratory is green in color which contains water crystallization. On heating it, it gets converted to unhydrous ferrous sulfate which is white in color. Again when you are heating it, it turns to ferric oxide which is brown in color. So in this decomposition reaction, ferric oxide is a solid which is a brown solid form. Sulfur dioxide and sulfur trioxide are gases. And this delta symbol denotes, instead of heat, you can put this delta symbol. This delta symbol denotes heat, heat in the substance. Then, this la last example, lead nitrate which is colorless lead nitrate on heating decomposes to form lead oxide plus nitrogen dioxide plus oxygen. Lead nitrate is colorless when it, when, when it is heated it decomposes to form lead oxide which is yellow in color. Along with that nitrogen dioxide gas as well as oxygen gas is formed. This nitrogen dioxide gas is reddish brown in color. On the mouth of the test tube you can see a brown colored reddish brown colored gas coming out which is nothing but nitrogen dioxide. So these are the examples for thermal decomposition reactions. So in thermal decomposition reaction, decomposition takes place in the presence of heat. A single reactant on heating decomposes to form more than one product. The second one is electrolytic decomposition. Electrolytic decomposition reaction is a decomposition reaction which takes place in the presence of electricity. For example, water. Water on passing electricity through water, it decomposes to form hydrogen and oxygen gases. Similarly, sodium chloride. Sodium chloride on passing electricity through aqueous or molten sodium chloride. It decomposes to form sodium and chlorine gas. Similarly, aluminum oxide in the molten stage or in the aqueous stage, when electricity is passed, it decomposes to form aluminum and oxygen. So these reactions, electrolytic decomposition reactions takes place only when the reactant is in the aqueous state or in the molten state so that when electricity is passed through it, it can form ions which can move to the respective electrons. So this is used, see the aluminum chloride aluminum oxide, this is used for the extraction of the metal from its uh, ores by the passage of electricity or electrolytic decomposition reaction. So this is the second one that is electrolytic decomposition which is the decomposition reaction which takes place in the presence of electricity. The third type of decomposition reaction is photolytic decomposition. Photolytic decomposition is the decomposition reaction which takes place in the presence of light. See the first example, silver chloride decomposes to form silver and chlorine gas. This reaction takes place in the presence of light. It can be either sunlight or a bulb light. So white colored silver chloride decomposes to form grayish white colored silver plus yellowish green color chlorine gas will be evolved. Similarly, silver bromide which is pale yellow in color, it decomposes to form grayish white colored silver plus reddish brown colored brown gas. This reaction also takes place in the presence of light. It can be either sunlight or a bulb light. These two decomposition reactions are used in black and white photography. So there are three types of decomposition reactions. First is thermal decomposition. Second one is electrolytic decomposition. Third one is photolytic decomposition. Thermal decomposition reaction is a reaction which takes place in the presence of heat. When you are 
heating a chemical substance, the single reactant decomposes to form more than one product. Then, electrolytic decomposition reaction is a decomposition reaction which takes place in the presence of electricity. The third the photolytic decomposition reaction is a decomposition reaction which takes place in the presence of light. So decomposition reactions are very useful in industry. See the electrolytic decomposition reaction which takes place in the presence of electricity are used for the extraction of metals from its ores which is in either sulfides, chlorides or oxides using electrolytic method, by the method of electrolysis. Then there are this uh, photolytic decomposition reaction is used in black and white photography. The next type of reaction is displacement reaction. Displacing means moving an element from its position and some other element will come to that position. Displacing something, moving from its position. Decomposition, displacement reactions are reactions in which a more reactive element displaces a less reactive element from its salt solution. A more reactive element displaces a less reactive element from its salt solution. For example, copper sulfate plus iron gives iron sulfate plus copper. Here, iron is more reactive than copper. So, iron displaces copper from copper sulfate to form iron sulfate plus copper in the solid state. If you are taking an iron nail and putting it in ferrosulfate, copper sulfate solution, copper sulfate is blue in color. If you are putting an iron nail in it, if you are watching it after two days, you can see the bluish color disappears and a brown deposit will be seen on that iron nail. So there what happens is, iron which is more reactive than copper, displaces copper from copper sulfate and that copper will be deposited on the iron nail. So displacement reaction is a reaction in which a more reactive element displaces a less reactive element from its salt solution. The second example, copper sulfate plus zinc gives zinc sulfate plus copper. Here also same thing, zinc is more reactive than copper. So this element zinc displaces copper from copper sulfate to form zinc sulfate plus copper. Similarly, copper chloride plus lead. Here lead is more reactive than copper. Lead displaces copper from copper chloride to form lead chloride plus copper which is in the solid state. Then iron plus hydrochloric acid. Here iron is more reactive than hydrogen. Iron displaces hydrogen from here forming iron chloride plus hydrogen which is in the active state, hydrogen is in the gaseous state. So how this displacement reaction occurs? Displacement reaction occurs on the basis of this reactivity series. What is reactivity series? It is the arrangement of few elements in the decreasing order of reactivity. Here, if you are taking this reactivity series, the top element that is potassium, sodium, they are highly reactive elements. When you come down, when you reach the last element that is gold, it is a least reactive element. So reactivity series is an arrangement of metals in the decreasing order of reactivity. So displacement reaction occurs on the basis of this reactivity series. If you take these two elements, sodium and calcium, sodium is more reactive than calcium. If you are taking these two, zinc and iron, zinc is more reactive than iron. If you are taking iron and lead, iron is more reactive than lead. If you are taking lead and copper, lead is more reactive than copper. The same thing occurs in displacement reaction. See here, for example, copper chloride plus lead. Copper is here, lead is here. So lead is more reactive than copper. Since lead is more reactive than copper, lead can remove this copper from copper chloride forming lead chloride plus copper. So displacement reaction occurs on the basis of the reactivity series. Reactivity series is the management of elements in the decreasing order of reactivity. The most reactive elements are sodium and potassium. The least reactive elements are silver, gold, platinum. The next is the double displacement reaction. Double dis in double displacement reactions, there is an exchange of ions. Which are the ions? For example, here silver nitrate, silver ions and nitrate ions. 
these are two ions in silver nitrate then sodium chloride sodium ions and chloride ions there is a mutual exchange of ions in the double di displacement reaction silver comes to this position sodium comes to this position the positively charged ions exchange itself and forms silver chloride plus sodium nitrate so white precipitate is formed here which is silver chloride next barium chloride plus sodium sulfate decomposes to form double decomposition reaction this is barium sulfate plus sodium chloride here also a white precipitate is formed which is barium sulfate then lead nitrate plus potassium iodide forming lead iodide what plus potassium nitrate here you can see a yellow color precipitate then sodium hydroxide plus hydrochloric acid in sodium chloride plus water so what are what is the speciality of these reactions here in double displacement reactions one solid substance will be formed or one precipitate can be seen so double displacement reactions are also known as precipitation reactions what are the precipitate any insoluble solid which is formed during a reaction is called a precipitate in double displacement reaction one compound which is formed for the product one product which is formed will be seen as a solid as a precipitate so this is double displacement reaction so this example the sodium hydroxide and hydrochloric acid giving sodium chloride plus water is called the neutralization reaction acid reacting with the base to form salt and water neutralization reaction the reaction between an acid and a base to form salt and water this is also a double displacement reaction here there is an exchange of ions in this reaction also so there are four types mainly four types of chemical reactions first one is combination reaction second one is decomposition reaction third displacement reaction and the fourth one double displacement reaction